All right, today I'm going to share the first ever website I built with Elementor and it wasn't one of my websites. Previous video, I shared a little bit about my story with Elementor, which started two years ago, but around the same time, I was building my first website for a client and this client just wanted a website they did not know anything about hosting they didn't want to know anything about hosting and a very old website it was kind of very early 2000s let's just say that around that time i think elementor if i'm not mistaken had their first uh, cloud hosting come about and this was built on the first version of their hosting so i said um, this is an amazing offer and it's kind of like a no-brainer. So let's dive in and let's see what I have done. And I'll come back to talk about the Elementor hosting, specifically their light plan. All right, as you can see, we are at the back in the back end of that website. And I had no clue about how to build a website on WordPress with Elementor. First of all, yeah, as you can see, I have 11 plugins, but this is just such a simple website. That there's no blog on it. It's just a very simple marketing brochure website. But just look at this, how many add-ons uh, plugins I've had and this one. And I don't even know if this is even something that I'm using on the website anymore or this. And I've had so many issues updating these plugins in the past, especially these ones for different effects on the websites. So since then, I swore to God that I will try to make my websites just pure, as pure as possible, as little plugins as possible, and just Elementor and whatever caching plugins I needed, or exactly only the plugins that I needed. And if I could do something with code, I would do it. And that's it. As you can see, we have Elementor, Elementor Pro as well. And if you hover over this little icon here, it says that this plugin is, is accelerated with Elementor Hosting. So Elementor Hosting is pushing this website to be as fast as possible. So this is another, I would say, plus that you could have in mind when choosing Elementor Hosting, especially the light Elementor Hosting because of this. My client now wants to switch to a lighter plan and I have told them that now Elementor has a lighter plan and it's really, really accessible and we will not need Elementor Pro in this case. So we would also remove a lot of these plugins that we don't need and we could clean it up a little bit, right? And I can do a lot with code. Of course, I'm going to uh, add a uh, code snippet plugin and just have that instead of Elementor Pro. So let's go and have a look at the website. So as you can see, this is how it looks. And I don't know, probably all those uh, plugins are making it so choppy on scroll. It's just not a very nice experience. I mean, I had good intentions with this website. I wouldn't say it's the worst design ever, but it's also not the best. But let's just see this page. <laughs> uh, let's just go through all these pages. And as you can see, this effect actually can be achieved with one of the templates that I'm actually showing on this channel. And what I'm using here is a plugin add-on. So that is very redundant. Let's see what do we have here. Uh, and if you didn't guess what this client does, it's a landscape and construction company. This is pretty cool. And I don't know if I can achieve this without a plugin. I I will try. So basically this is before and after. This is pretty cool. And I think this was a pretty cool idea coming from a newbie. I also love the colors. Let's see if this is a broken link. Actually, it's not. Honestly, I'm kind of like surprised with myself. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I kind of dig these colors. I think if I add also a smooth scroll on this page and I just remove all these uh, crazy animations that I are like kind of 
Mm. I think we can um, have something nice and polish it a little bit like this image is a little bit better quality, I would say. All right. So, yeah. I tried to do a good job with this website and I think I did. I don't know. You tell me. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Elementor's hosting light plan. So this is where I'm going to transfer the website, basically downgrade it. And I think this is more than enough for him, for his website, since he doesn't have much functionality going on. It's enough to build it on or edit it or redesign it on the free version of Elementor because the light plan comes with the free version of Elementor only, which is good enough. You get 25 widgets and I think it's fair, right? And I will add my magic code in Code Snippets plugin and it's going to be fine. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the cool stuff that this plan includes. So at the time of filming this video, as you can see, Elementor is having a birthday sale for their hosting and the plugin. But for now, we're focusing on this. So the light plan is it shows $2.99 for the sale, but it will still be $2.99 after the birthday sale for the first year. So as you can see, what we have here in terms of good stuff, what they're offering with this plan is the premium SSL, which is a must and Cloudflare CDN and integrated caching tool. So you don't need to add a plugin for it. Cloud hosting is built on the Google's infrastructure, which makes it very fast, right? So also, as you can see, you get five gigabytes of storage for a light plan. I think that is a fair storage amount <laughs> and also 10K monthly visit. It's very generous, I would say. And also very important, you get 24 seven support for hosting not for the builder obviously because it's a free version but for hosting so that means that you will have help there whenever you need it 24 7. so i think that's a great deal for the price right also if you don't have a website already i'm just saying this the installation is just one click setup you can have a website ready to go and to be edited in 60 seconds once you have activated your hosting plan and i think it's pretty fair and i think it's pretty cool and i think it's a pretty good price for what you are getting also you can easily upgrade to the basic plan as you can see the basic plan includes the pro builder plus the free ai as you can see the differences between all these plans are pretty clear right here yeah so this is what i am going to be doing for my client i think this is pretty cool if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.